and you can also have an icon inside your button so before we see about how to add icons inside your button let's first see about icons in general so for that i'm going to create an other widget for our icons so i'm going to say app oh app icon and i'm going to give you a icon so let's see what uh, how do you call icons before i'm allotting an icon inside a button okay so i'll say icon and here i'll say icons dot and it will show me the options of all the icons available so i guess you can see this it's showing me the options of all the option icons that is available so it's showing me edit location edit clear add delete remove done outline done label so and it's showing me the particular icon right here too so let me choose something from here uh, well i'm gonna choose okay let's say i'm gonna choose this one edit location okay sure now if i save this and let me call this right here where is it yeah let me call this right here instead of app button i'll say app icon now if i save this let's see how it looks like so yeah here i'm having my icon let me just wrap it inside a center widget for now because i want it to be big and in the center so i'll wrap it in the, the inside the center widget okay and we will give it as a child inside our center widget so i'll say child yeah so now let's save it yeah it, it will be visible on the center now and we can also change the features of the icon like the color of the icon the size of the icon so let's change try changing the size of the icon well i'll give the size as 50 now if i save it you can see my icon size has been increased what if i change the color of my icon i'll say the set the color as colors dot and i'll choose blue all right now if i save it you can see my color of my icon has been changed so like uh, by doing this you can change all the features of your icon you can also change your uh, select your icon accordingly and whenever you select your icon you can see here the icon is actually changing in the this part as well the color has been updated here and the icon has been updated here so you don't need to recheck it uh, before you run it you can check what icon has been selected for example if i change my icon it will be selected right here accordingly so let's try changing my icon i'll change it to add or okay i'll change it to clear and it's right here the icon has been changed right here so whenever you change the icon it will change in this part too so you don't need to reach a key is reach a key to run it in your flutter app so it's uh, this is an advantage of using android studio for coding flutter app okay so now that we know what are icons we can now uh, define an icon inside a button so let's do that first i'll make a button appear here instead of my icon so i'll give app button and inside my button i'm going to give an icon so how can i do it i'll say paste button dot icon dot icon and inside here uh, you can see my child is getting a red squiggly line because inside an uh, raised button icon you can't give a child widget you can give a label instead so i'll remove this child widget here i'm going to say icon this to icon of you see this widget icon of icon store so i'm going to replicate the same one here icons dot so let me select an icon here so i'll say okay edit one all right i can start edit and i'll give the size as 50 and i'll give a label so i think the label will be out here yeah so i'll give a label label is text of click all right so now if i save it so let's just uh, take this uh, uh, color below yeah I'll give this label below and the color below that so it looks a bit little bit more uh, presentable now let's save this and let's see how it looks like so as you can see i'm having my icon the size of my icon has been increased so it's as i gave you a 50 so let's say it's 30 is enough so yeah the color of my icon is size of my icon is increased and it's still a raised button but with an icon in it and whenever you are giving an icon inside a button you need to give a label as the text widget 
so we need to give a label for that particular icon so whenever you give an icon you need to give a label for it so it's still a raise button with an icon in it and it, the on press function still runs so i press that button two times i guess and here button was clicked i click it again button was clicked so how, how many times i press this button the on press function will be running the, just the difference is whenever i press say it as an icon dot icon you can give an icon inside this uh, button button widget so what if i change it to a flat button flat button dot icon it, it remains the same just the button will become a flat button and the icons will be the same so now i can press it so this is a flat button and if you don't know we can also have a for floating action button beside our body widget so here inside my body widget i'm having this button right and beside our body widget i can add a floating action button so there is a certain column for a floating action button here you can add floating action button and i'll say child or first on press every time the first one should be on pressed and after on pressed i'll say child i'll say icon icon of icons dot add okay and i'll give it a label no a uh, label will be not not be needed i guess so i'll just give it as icons dot add and i'll give the size as 20 or 30 yeah 30 would be good size 30 now let's save it and let's see how our floating action button looks like this is the icon and let's see how a floating action button looks like so i'll save this now and yeah this is my floating action button and this can be allotted beside our body widget you can see i can't alert any other buttons here well, and you can only add a floating action button right there you can't add a flat button or a, some other button you can add a floating action button widget right here because uh, uh, this is located right here right so it doesn't go with the body or with the home but you can add a floating action button inside your body and it can apply here but this one is an uh, you consider it as an extra so you can add a floating action button at the bottom right of your app so so i guess we learned a lot in this video we learned about uh, padding margins and we learned about buttons and we learned about different types of button flat button raised button and there we added icons and without icons when we add icon we need to specify something called as label and without icon it's just a child widget and uh, inside the child widget you need to give a text widget so we learned different stuff and we also learned how to add your own icon and uh, what is a floating action button and how to add them i guess we learned a lot in this video uh, so if you did find this useful please leave a like below it would be really helpful for me and uh, and drop your and drop your doubts questions in the comment section i will definitely reply them and in the next video we'll be talking about rows and columns and how to arrange your widgets and rows and columns i thought about talking it in this video but uh, i thought uh, giving this information before i talking before i talk about the rows and columns would be much more useful so in the next video we'll be seeing about rows and columns and uh, don't forget to subscribe i'm releasing videos every week more i'm releasing uh, more than two or three videos every week so please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye